hello everyone welcome to my channel uh, in esp.net core today i'm going to show you uh, edit uh, delete and details features uh, using model pop-up in esp.net core so uh, this that thing is uh, completed in last video tutorial and in this video tutorial i'm going to show you uh, first of all edit section and you know very well about the edit section edit uh, have with the id property in the parameter and the by using M, uh, id property you get first of all um, uh, single employee and uh, you know very well so x dot id equals w equals to id and the first dot default and here we have that uh, get section will be prepared in a controller section and uh, after that you have to add a new partial view for the edit section so underscore edit employee model uh, partial that is the partial view for the edit section that thing now just uh, change it also in the controller section and just copy and the paste all such things of the create uh, edit pa uh, create partial uh, view and paste it here you know uh, the whole things are the same uh, name and email is there and uh, action is changed that is the edit section also uh, the name of the button is changed okay now uh, in index.cshtml file add a button control instead of uh, this hyperlink and uh, that is a button control oops just pay and just copy and paste again control c and paste it here and change the uh, method name that is edit action name that is edit and uh, in which you can pass the uh, id property so item dot id oops getting mistakes item dot id okay in uh, site dot cs also you have to decoded url so decoded url equals to um, decode url components url decode uri components pass the url and also pass that decoded url in in the get section okay so that thing is easy to complete the task and done your project for the demo purpose so that is the create section and that is the edit section where you got the single employee name and when we click uh, when after uh, edit any fields and press the update button then uh, site.js file that will uh, that code will be generated for the same so just prepare uh, http post method of the edit section where you got uh, employees emp and uh, just i want to edit employees dot update emp and uh, context dot save changes method will call and uh, here we have the employee emp now update uh, now just again uh, uh, run your project and uh, simple you have to say when we click on edit and any changes on the field and uh, just refresh it oops uh, another entry because the employee id is here zero if employee id is zero then another field will be added so just add a hidden field in the uh, partial view of edit employee that is the model id that thing is uh, needed and run it again and add it jack up 12 update and that is jack up 12 is updated so the next thing is detail section and the further 
you can use delete section also okay so in the edit section uh, details and uh, in the detail section only need another uh, partial view so for the partial view name is detail employee model partial detail employee model partial okay just copy and paste of the first of all uh, re uh, first of all change in the controller section okay and uh, just copy uh, of the edit employee model partial and paste in the detail employee model partial that will will be change uh, that uh, that field uh, remains same so the action method is the detail you know uh, where action uh, method is not uh, needed in the detail section only label is required so the model id is there but in the action there is no need in the form tag oops and in asp4 id and model dot id only uh, level is there in the detail section model dot email and input and its pain tag will be uh, deleted and there is no need of the footer section so that is the completed to so save this also change the header part that is the model title that detail employee and also change in the edit of the header section edit employee so that is pretty looking good save changes and uh, just run your project again to see some changes oops first of all check uh, in the index.cshtml file for action link that is created a new button where url first of all change the name that is detail and also in the edit section we have to change details first of all change yeah details save and run it again okay uh, employees and index yeah detail will call and all these details are there okay now the third section is related to the delete section where you say are you sure you want to delete it if uh, press the delete button then data will be deleted from the database table that is the similar thing uh, with the edit and the delete only prepare uh, http get method and the http post method in the site.js file will be remain same and uh, also create the partial view for the delete section where header and the footer is there header body and the footer is there so uh, here we have the http get method of the delete and uh, also add a new partial view for the delete in the uh, partial view of the delete section a delete employee model partial and in which you can add the detail section detail employee just copy and paste in the delete employee partial just copy and paste in the de uh, delete section uh, and in the delete employee model partial add a uh, two button for the delete and uh, also add a form tag form action uh, attribute that is delete where your uh, http post method will call and add that is 
that is already available in the edit employee so just copy and uh, the model footer and paste in the delete just you can give the name that is delete okay and also change the name of the header that is the model title that is are you sure you want to delete okay and uh, that is the http get method of the delete and you will prepare for http post me post method and in the delete employee model pop up must to add a hidden field uh, for the id property so input type equals to hidden asp for model id where id will pass in the parameter as an employee employee emp dot id okay so prepare on the basis of the id you can delete employee so just open uh, control section and just copy and paste it here and first of all get id so here we use employee emp and the id will get from emp.id okay after getting the employee you can delete the employee from the database table by using context dot employees dot delete uh, dot remove employee okay and after that you you can make some changes by using context dot save changes method so just change the uh, partial view name that is delete employee model partial that's pretty look and simple and after that you um, you can uh, perform your actions now run it again your project and perform delete action method yeah all things are clear employee and delete oops i think uh, both uh, the name are same the delete delete so it's not call De uh, details are all, uh, calling but delete is not calling so oops it's a failed in the http get and the http post so ambiguity is there so just open the controller class and add http get and http post attribute in the uh, before your action name the uh, http get and http post so it's pretty look and you can delete the employee so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and i will help you in a project uh, so thank you very much for watching this video